Kuwait City is the capital and largest city of Kuwait. It has a population of 2.1 million in the metropolitan area. Kuwait City is the political, cultural and economic center of Kuwait. Kuwait City is considered a global city. Kuwait City's trade and transportation needs are served by Kuwait International Airport, Mina al Shuwaik and Mina al Amadi. History Early history In 1613, the town of Kuwait was founded in modern-day Kuwait City. In 1716, the Bani Utubs settled in Kuwait. At the time of the arrival of the Utubs, Kuwait was inhabited by a few fishermen and primarily functioned as a fishing village. In the 18th century, Kuwait prospered and rapidly became the principal commercial center for the transit of goods between India, Muscat, Baghdad and Arabia. By the mid-1700s, Kuwait had already established itself as the major trading route from the Persian Gulf to Aleppo. During the Persian siege of Basra in 1775-1779, Iraqi merchants took refuge in Kuwait and were partly instrumental in the expansion of Kuwait's boat building and trading activities. As a result, Kuwait's maritime commerce boomed. Between the years 1775 and 1779, the Indian trade routes with Baghdad, Aleppo, Smyrna and Constantinople were diverted to Kuwait. The East India Company was diverted to Kuwait in 1792. The East India Company secured the sea routes between Kuwait, India and the east coasts of Africa. After the Persians withdrew from Basra in 1779, Kuwait continued to attract trade away from Basra. Kuwait was the center of boat building in the Gulf region. During the late 18th and 19th centuries, ship vessels made in Kuwait carried the bulk of trade between the ports of India, East Africa and the Red Sea. Kuwaiti ship vessels were renowned throughout the Indian Ocean. Regional geopolitical turbulence helped foster economic prosperity in Kuwait in the second half of the 18th century. Kuwait became prosperous due to Basra's instability in the late 18th century. In the late 18th century, Kuwait partly functioned as a haven for Basra's merchants fleeing Ottoman government persecution. According to Palgrave, Kuwaitis developed a reputation as the best sailors in the Persian Gulf. During the reign of Mubarak al-Sabah, Kuwait was dubbed the Marseille of the Gulf because its economic vitality attracted a large variety of people. In the first decades of the 20th century, Kuwait had a well-established elite, wealthy trading families who were linked by marriage and shared economic interests. The elite were long-settled, urban, Sunni families, the majority of which claimed descent from the original 30 Bani Utuba families. The wealthiest families were trade merchants who acquired their wealth from long-distance commerce, shipbuilding and pearling. They were a cosmopolitan elite. They traveled extensively to India, Africa and Europe. The elite educated their sons abroad more than other Gulf Arab elite. Western visitors noted that the Kuwaiti elite used European office systems, typewriters, and followed European culture with curiosity. The richest families were involved in general trade. The merchant families of al Ghani and al Hamad were estimated to be worth millions before the 1940s. In 1937, Freya Stark wrote about the extent of poverty in Kuwait at the time. Poverty has settled in Kuwait more heavily since my last visit five years ago, both by sea, where the pearl trade continues to decline, and by land where the blockade established by Saudi Arabia now harms the merchants. Some prominent merchant families left Kuwait in the early 1930s due to the prevalence of economic hardship. At the time of the discovery of oil in 1937, most of Kuwait's inhabitants were impoverished. Golden era from 1946 to 1982, Kuwait experienced a period of prosperity driven by oil and its liberal atmosphere. In popular discourse, the years between 1946 and 1982 are referred to as the Golden Era. In 1950, a major public work program began to enable Kuwaitis 
to enjoy a modern standard of living. By 1952, the country became the largest oil exporter in the Persian Gulf region. This massive growth attracted many foreign workers, especially from Palestine, Egypt and India. In June 1961, Kuwait became independent with the end of the British protectorate and the Sheikh Abdullah al Salam al Saba became an emir. Under the terms of the newly drafted constitution, Kuwait held its first parliamentary elections in 1963. Kuwait was the first Gulf country to establish a constitution and parliament. In the 1960s and 1970s, Kuwait was the most developed country in the region. Kuwait was the pioneer in the Middle East in diversifying its earnings away from oil exports. The Kuwait Investment Authority is the world's first sovereign wealth fund. From the 1970s onward, Kuwait scored highest of all Arab countries on the Human Development Index. Kuwait University was established in 1966. Kuwait's theatre industry was well known throughout the Arab world. In the 1960s and 1970s, Kuwait's press was described as one of the freest in the world. Kuwait was the pioneer in the literary renaissance in the Arab region. In 1958, Al-Arabi magazine was first published. The magazine went on to become the most popular magazine in the Arab world. Many Arab writers moved to Kuwait for freedom of expression because Kuwait had greater freedom of expression than elsewhere in the Arab world. Kuwait was a haven for writers and journalists from all parts of the Middle East. The Iraqi poet Ahmed Matar left Iraq in the 1970s to take refuge in the more liberal environment of Kuwait. Kuwaiti society embraced liberal and Western attitudes throughout the 1960s and 1970s. Most Kuwaiti women did not wear the hijab in the 1960s and 1970s. At Kuwait University, mini skirts were more common than the hijab. 1980s to present day in the early 1980s, Kuwait experienced a major economic crisis after the Souq al-Manik stock market crash and decrease in oil price. During the Iran-Iraq War, Kuwait supported Iraq. Throughout the 1980s, there were several terror attacks in Kuwait, including the 1983 Kuwait bombings hijacking of several Kuwait Airways planes and attempted assassination of Emir Jaber in 1985. Kuwait was a leading regional hub of science and technology in the 1960s and 1970s up until the early 1980s. The scientific research sector significantly suffered due to the terror attacks. The Kuwaiti government strongly advocated Islamism throughout the 1980s. At that time, the most serious threat to the continuity of al Saba came from homegrown secular Democrats. The secular Kuwaiti opposition were protesting the 1976 suspension of the parliament. al Saba were attracted to Islamists preaching the virtues of a hierarchical order that included loyalty to the Kuwaiti monarchy. In 1981, the Kuwaiti government gerrymandered electoral districts in favor of the Islamists. Islamists were the government's main allies, hence Islamists were able to colonize state agencies, such as the government ministries. In 1983, the parliament banned alcohol consumption. By the mid-1980s, Kuwait was described as an autocracy. In 1986, Emir Jaber suspended the parliament. After the Iran-Iraq war ended, Kuwait declined an Iraqi request to forgive its $65 billion debt. An economic rivalry between the two countries ensued after Kuwait increased its oil production by 40 percent. Tensions between the two countries increased further in July 1990. After Iraq complained to OPEC claiming that Kuwait was stealing its oil from a field near the border by slant drilling of the Rumaila field. In August 1990, Iraqi forces invaded and annexed Kuwait. After a series of failed diplomatic negotiations, the United States led a coalition to remove the Iraqi forces from Kuwait. In what became known as the Gulf War, on 26 February 1991, the coalition succeeded in driving out the Iraqi forces. As they retreated, Iraqi forces carried out a scorched-earth policy by setting oil wells on fire. 
During the Iraqi occupation, more than 1,000 Kuwaiti civilians were killed. In addition, more than 600 Kuwaitis went missing during Iraq's occupation. Approximately 375 remains were found in mass graves in Iraq. In March 2003, Kuwait became the springboard for the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq. Upon the death of the Emir Jaber, in January 2006, Saad al-Sabah succeeded him but was removed nine days later by the Kuwaiti parliament due to his ailing health. Sabah al-Sabah was sworn in as Emir. In 2011-2012, there were protests inspired by the Arab Spring. The parliament was dissolved in December 2011 due to protests against the parliament. The prime minister stepped down following protests and allegations of corruption. Politics Kuwait is a constitutional monarchy and has the oldest directly elected parliament among the Arab states of the Persian Gulf. The al Sabah is Kuwait's ruling family. Legislative power is vested in the National Assembly Parliament and Emir in accordance with the Constitution of Kuwait. The appointment of a new Emir needs the approval of the Kuwaiti Parliament. The Parliament effectively removed Saad al Sabah from his post in 2006 due to his illness. The Constitutional Court and the Emir both have the authority to dissolve the National Assembly but must subsequently call a national election. A cabinet of ministers aid the Prime Minister. The National Assembly consists of 50 elected members, who are chosen in elections held every four years. Government ministers are also granted membership in the parliament and can number up to 16 excluding the 50 elected members. Any amendment to the constitution can be proposed by the Emir but it needs to be approved by more than two-thirds of the elected members of the National Assembly before being implemented. Human rights in Kuwait has been the subject of criticism, particularly regarding migrant workers' rights and the Bedouin. 60% of Kuwait's population is Arab. The remaining 40% consists of non-Arab expatriates, mainly South Asian migrant workers. The kafala system leaves migrant workers prone to exploitation. Many human rights organizations have criticized Kuwait for failing to protect migrant workers from exploitation. Law Kuwait follows the civil law system, modeled after the French legal system. Kuwait's legal system is largely secular. Sharia law governs only family law for Muslim residents. Non-Muslims in Kuwait have a secular family law. For the application of family law, there are three separate court sections. Sunni, Shia and non-Muslim. According to the United Nations, Kuwait's legal system is a mix of British common law, French civil law, Egyptian civil law and Islamic law. The court system in Kuwait is secular. Unlike other Gulf states, Kuwait does not have Sharia courts. Sections of the civil court system administer family law. Kuwait has the most secular commercial law in the Gulf. Foreign relations Foreign affairs relations of Kuwait is handled at the level of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The first Foreign Affairs Department Bureau was established in 1961. Kuwait became the 111th member state of the United Nations in May 1963. It is a long-standing member of the Arab League and Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf. Before the Gulf War, Kuwait was the only pro-Soviet state in the Gulf. Kuwait acted as a conduit for the Soviets to the other Gulf states and Kuwait was used to demonstrate the benefits of a pro-Soviet stance. Between 1961 and 1991, Kuwait had an uneasy relationship with the United States characterized by mistrust and hostility. In July 1987, Kuwait refused to allow U.S military bases in its territory. As a result of the Gulf War, Kuwait currently hosts thousands of U.S. military personnel and contractors with inactive U.S. facilities. Military The military of Kuwait traces its original roots to the Kuwaiti cavalrymen and infantrymen that used to protect Kuwait and its wall since the early 1900s. These cavalrymen and infantrymen formed the defense and security sources in metropolitan areas, charged with protecting outposts outside the wall of Kuwait. 
The military of Kuwait consists of several joint defense forces. The governing bodies are the Kuwait Ministry of Defense, the Kuwait Ministry of Interior, the Kuwait National Guard and the Kuwait Fire Service Directorate. The Emir of Kuwait is the commander-in-chief of all defense forces. Geography Kuwait City is located on Kuwait Bay, a natural deep water harbor. 90% of Kuwait's population live within the Kuwait Bay coast. The country is generally low-lying, with the highest point being 306 meters above sea level. It has nine islands, all of which with the exception of Fay Island, are uninhabited. With an area of 860 square kilometers, the Bubian is the largest island in Kuwait and is connected to the rest of the country by a 2,380 meters long bridge. The land area is considered arable and sparse vegetation is found along its 499 kilometer long coastline. Kuwait's Bergen Field having a total capacity of approximately 70 billion barrels of proven oil reserves. During the 1991 Kuwaiti oil fires, more than 500 oil lakes were created, covering a combined surface area of about 35.7 square kilometers. The resulting soil contamination due to oil and soot accumulation had made eastern and southeastern parts of Kuwait uninhabitable. Sand and oil residue had reduced large parts of the Kuwaiti desert to semi-asphalt surfaces. The oil spills during the Gulf War also drastically affected Kuwait's marine resources. Climate Kuwait City has a hot desert climate and is one of the hottest cities in summers on Earth. Summer temperatures regularly exceed 45 degrees Celsius, and temperatures over 50 degrees Celsius are not uncommon in the summer, especially in heat waves. Nighttime lows often remain above 30 degrees Celsius. In winter, nighttime temperatures frequently drop below 8 degrees Celsius. Considering its coastal position and relative distance to the equator in comparison with the hot desert climates in Africa and Saudi Arabia, the heat in the city is rather extreme, being surrounded in almost every direction by the hot desert. Sandstorms occur at times during summer from the Shamal wind. Sandstorms can occur any time of year but occur mostly during summer, and less frequently during autumn. Economy Kuwait has a petroleum-based economy. Petroleum and fertilizers are the main export products. The Kuwaiti dinar is the highest valued currency unit in the world. Petroleum accounts for nearly half of GDP and 90% of export revenues and government income. The Kuwait Stock Exchange is the second largest stock exchange in the Arab world. Culture Theatre Kuwait is known for its homegrown tradition of theatre. Kuwait is the only country in the Gulf with a theatrical tradition. The Arabic theatrical movement in Kuwait constitutes a major part of the country's Arabic cultural life. Theatrical activities in Kuwait began in the 1920s when the first spoken dramas were released. Theater activities are still popular today. Soap operas Kuwaiti soap operas are the among the most watched soap operas in the Arab world. Most Khaliji soap operas are based in Kuwait. Although usually performed in the Kuwaiti dialect, some Kuwaiti soap operas have been shown with success as far away as Tunisia. Gallery Built in 1979, the Kuwait Towers are the most famous landmark in Kuwait City. Seif Palace Al-Hamra Tower is the tallest sculpted tower in the world. Majlis al umma the Kuwaiti Parliament. Al-Raya Tower Complex Water towers are a feature of Kuwait City. Kuwait Towers City Skyline Kuwait Stock Exchange